video problem 76, changing equilibrium conditions. Le Chatelier's principle. We want to describe the changes that occur after each stress is applied to the equilibrium. So we're going to say, here's our here's our equilibrium uh, reaction. We're going to say whether the concentration of nitrogen, hydrogen, and ammonia increases or decreases. We're going to say whether it shifts left or right, and we're going to say whether it shifts to the reactants or products. So different ways that we can look at the same idea. All right, the first one is if nitrogen is increased. So if I have extra nitrogen, well, the stress is too much nitrogen. So what's going to happen? We're going to shift to the right. Okay, so it's going to shift right. And we're shifting right to get rid of that extra nitrogen. That means the concentration of ammonia is going to go up, hydrogen is going to go down, and nitrogen is going to go down and it's going to shift to the products. If hydrogen is increased, same exact idea, okay? Um, so if hydrogen is increased, we're still going to shift to the right, and it's still going to be toward the products. Our ammonia is going to increase because we're shifting this way. Our hydrogen and nitrogen is going to decrease. If ammonia is increased, well now the stress is too much product, so now we're going to shift left. That means our ammonia is going to decrease, our hydrogen and nitrogen is going to increase, and it's going to favor the reactants. If temperature is increased, temperature always favors the endothermic reaction. Or I shouldn't say that. An increase in temperature always favors the endothermic reaction. Okay, so the forward reaction is exothermic. I can tell because of the negative. So that means the reverse reaction must be endothermic. So it's going to shift left. Okay, it's going to favor the reactants. That means the ammonia is going to decrease, and the hydrogen and nitrogen are going to increase. If nitrogen is decreased, we are going to shift left to make up for that missing nitrogen. Ammonia is going to decrease, hydrogen is going to increase, nitrogen is going to increase. If hydrogen is decreased, same idea, right? So we have not enough hydrogen, we're still going to shift left, it means we're going to decrease our ammonia increase our hydrogen, increase our nitrogen. If ammonia is decreased, so now we're decreasing that, we're going to shift to the right to make up for that missing ammonia. So that means we're going to increase that. I said we're going to shift right. We'll decrease the nitrogen and hydrogen, and we're going to shift toward the products. Make this a little bit temperature is decreased. Oh, a decrease favors the exothermic, so it's going to shift to the right. Because the forward reaction is exothermic. Okay. Uh, ammonia is going to increase. Nitrogen and hydrogen are going to decrease. A catalyst is added, no change. Now, I want to go back and specifically talk about the temperature ones, because don't forget, a change in temperature changes K. So let's real quick talk about whether K is going to get bigger or smaller. Okay, in this case it's going to shift to the left. So when we increase temperature on this exothermic reaction, we're going to shift to the left, which means we're going to form more reactants, which means K is going to get smaller. Why is that? Because K is equal to the products over the reactants. If we shift left, we're going to form more reactants, 
we're going to get rid of products. So we got a smaller number divided by a bigger number. All right? And so obviously here in this case, K gets bigger with a decrease in temperature because of the opposite reasons. All right?